focus, I do not assume. This is where assumption will really get you nailed. If I go, okay, uh, he looks like the mean one. He's probably the one who's going to jump me, right? Because uh, he's wearing black. Okay? So, you know, I, I'm, I'm making an assumption based on perception. You can't do that. It's very important that you may remain open and responsive. <laughs> I, can't, I can't stop saying that. Open and responsive. I don't know who's going to attack me. If I start thinking, then all I'm doing is I'm slowing down my process. And I cannot uh, 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 think as fast as they move. I can't go, okay, it's probably going to be this guy. Because what happened is they tried to fuck with me. I don't know if they did it on purpose or not. Did you guys do it on purpose? Where I said, okay, he didn't budge. He stayed very solid. And Danny started shifting his weight. And usually that's a pre-contact indicator in a fight. When somebody's standing there and he starts shifting his weight, that means something's about to happen. He's, he's getting ready. He might look around. He's, he's positioning himself. He's looking for a good spot to throw. Okay, did you guys do that on purpose? No, but I did. I didn't move on purpose. Yeah, you were just shifting? I was shifting. You were shifting? Bastards. Okay, so, okay, so if, had I had in mind, oh, fuck. Okay, he's shifting, he's frozen, it's probably going to be Danny, I'd be screwed because all of a sudden my attention and focus would be a little bit more towards him. And by the time he starts to make his move and I go, fuck, it would have been too late. I would have gotten tackled here. Okay? But he started shifting and he froze and I remained open. I totally didn't go, it's going to be Danny. For a split second though, I did because you don't have a choice. Your brain will process information. Trash collected by the eyes is dumped into your brain as, you know, goes through it and you, you know, you start to process that and then for a split second, but it's important that you thought process interrupt yourself where you go, no, okay? And you just keep your vision diffused and wait. I will move when they move, okay? Although this is a pre-contact indicator, I will pick up on that. My brain did pick up on that. I'm not going to ignore it. Doesn't mean he, it's not him who's going to attack. I had no clue. So my hand stayed up here and when... Spiff decided to make his move, I angled off and I jammed, okay? Now what happens here is again I asked him to keep giving me the energy. Why? Because if you stop, stop giving me energy. If we stop here, it's very easy for me to go, well, well look, I have a knee right to his chest. Not if he gives me energy, give me energy. From here, I can't. If I start to lift my knee, this is what happens. So when you are doing drills, whether it's multiple attack or any other kind of drills, it's important that if you do an isolation drill and you freeze the drill, freeze the drill to keep the energy so you can understand where your weight is and what you can and cannot do. So if he threw a punch and I did, and I did a jam here and I go, okay, freeze, let me look for my closest weapon, closest target application. If I don't keep energy here, stay loose, okay? If I just freeze and there's no energy, it's very easy for me to say, whack. But if he gives me that energy and I'm like this, I can't do this now. Okay? So, important concept to keep in mind while you train. It keeps it a lot more realistic. Keep the energy alive. So again, um, level one of the drill, I'm here. All I'm trying to do is diffuse my vision, jam the first oncoming attack and move away, keeping the person who is attacking me as a shield and keeping the other person away from me as much as possible. If there was a third person here, if there was a third person over here, okay, Helen, can you come here? Just keep it focused again. Yeah. You can tighten it from there, the other way. Okay? Are we in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if there was a third person and it was him who attacked, now, originally, if Helen wasn't here, when Helen wasn't here, what I did is, he came in, is I angled off away from Danny, and I angled off this way. But, come back, if Helen was here, that's not tactically sound now, okay? So, if she was here, my brain should automatically go threat assessment. I'm not, I can't move here, I can't move here. He's going to tackle me, I end up doing this, so now I've got to start angling off. Now, we probably went off camera, but what I did is I moved forward, keeping my vision still on the two other people. Thanks. Okay, so threat assessment is very important. What are the immediate dangers? What can they come at me with? Now, you've got this, you've got this, you've got this, and you've got this. In a multiple attacker situation, the angles change. Why? Because, you know, it can't just come from here. It can also come from here. And you've got not just two tools to deal with, you've got four upper body tools to deal with. Both hands, both hands. Now the angle could be coming around 
this way. It could be coming around this way. It could be going straight here, straight here, straight here, across here. So it varies, okay? So the first part of the drill, like I said, is vision diffused and jamming the oncoming assault, moving away from the other opponent. We'll do another one. Dick. Come back again. I, do you have a good angle here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Should we come a little closer? Mm -hmm. no? Okay. So again, I don't know who's going to attack me. I diffuse my vision. I keep my hands up. Whenever the person makes his move, whatever he wants, it doesn't matter. I'm going to start to step in here. And then, okay. Now, what I want you to do is it's important that you come in with a bit more energy, Danny, next time. Okay. So I end up here. Now again, I angled off. I'm not exactly sure what just happened here because. I don't know, I'm explaining at the same time, but I'm using Danny as a shield to him. Okay, so let's let's try that again. But guys, um, cover me hard and fast. Okay, so again, as you see, it's very important to, to, to tell uh, your your partners, your opponents, to come in with realistic energy. Um, I'm at a level where I feel like it's saying, cover me hard and fast with anything, not for real, but punch me in the whatever. Okay, and if I get 